Radiotherapy is a treatment that uses high energy X-rays, known as radiation beams, to cure or control cancer. They're stronger than normal X-rays. They work by destroying cancer cells. Sometimes normal cells can be affected too, but these usually recover themselves over time. Radiotherapy can be given on its own or with other treatments such as surgery or before, alongside or after chemotherapy or hormone therapy. Radiotherapy can be used to cure cancers or to control cancers. This is known as curative radiotherapy. It can also be used to control cancer symptoms such as pain. This is known as palliative radiotherapy. There are different ways to give radiotherapy. Radiotherapy can be given from outside of the body, externally, using high energy X-ray beams, or from inside the body by placing radioactive substances into the tumour. Sometimes both methods can be used to treat some types of cancer, such as breast or prostate cancer. Giving radiotherapy from outside the body is known as external beam radiotherapy. There are a number of different types of external beam radiotherapy and your doctor will discuss with you which one is best for you. How much treatment you receive will depend on the type of cancer you have and again your doctor will talk to you about how many treatments you need. Your first visit to the radiotherapy unit will be for a planning or simulation meeting. This is to help the doctors plan the radiotherapy. You'll be asked to lie on a table and lie still for a few minutes while a simulator scans around your body. Your skin may be marked to make it easier for the treatment to be aligned up properly each time you attend for a treatment session. Simulation or planning helps to target the radiotherapy exactly where it's needed to help avoid damage to the healthy cells. When you begin your treatment, you may need to go to the hospital every day from Monday to Friday for a number of weeks. The treatment itself only takes a few minutes. The radiotherapy machine moves around your body, just like when you're having an x-ray. It doesn't touch your body at all, and you don't feel anything. You will be alone in the room whilst you have your treatment, but the radiation therapist will be able to see you and hear you. Brachytherapy is a form of internal radiation, where a radioactive material is placed inside the body using either seeds or rods. Certain types of cancers can be treated in this way, such as breast, prostate or endometrial cancer. Radioactive isotopes are another form of internal radiotherapy. They can be taken by tablet, capsules or by injection into a vein. They can be used to treat some forms of thyroid cancers or they can be used to control some symptoms in more advanced cancer. Radiotherapy affects different people in different ways. It's very hard to predict how you will be affected. Very often the side effects are determined by where in the body you're having your treatment. For example, if you're having radiotherapy near your stomach, you may feel sick. Or if you're having it near your bladder, you may feel the need to pass urine more often. You may feel tired or fatigued during your radiotherapy. It's important to listen to your body and learn how your body feels and try to pace yourself. Taking light exercise during and after treatment can help with the tiredness. Some people develop a skin reaction when they're having external radiotherapy. This is just over the area to be treated. The skin may become sore, red or itchy. Not everyone has a skin reaction. It can depend on the type of radiotherapy you're having, the amount of treatments you have and the type of skin that you've got. Your radiation therapists will give you advice on how to care for your skin. They're trained to look out for these sorts of reactions. Generally, radiotherapy is safe but you may need to take certain precautions, particularly if you have some types of internal radiotherapy. Your doctors will tell you if this applies to you. You'll be under the care of a specialist medical team with specialist doctors and radiographers. They'll give you advice and support throughout your treatment. Feel free to ask them if you have any questions. You can also call the National Cancer Helpline to talk to a specialist nurse in confidence.